If the rumor is true of Jabba's sail barge coming with Max Rebo, then you will get another chance to buy this figure for relatively cheap. And if you're like me, you want that figure to have his piano because that's the staple of his character. You never see him without it. And I think that it's a really fun, cool design and it's cool to see intro inst and it's cool to see instruments in Star Wars. So I built a little diorama of Max Rebo's piano and the Bith musicians. Of course, they were rivaling bands in universe but I, I don't have the actual, you know, band members he had because Lego didn't ever make them or anything close enough to them that I could custom make them. Now, if you look, his piano was down a set of stairs, so I just kind of built that with tan bricks, and underneath all these uh, tan 2 by 4 tiles are just blue bricks, and then I have these black plates down here and black 6 by one bricks lining the whole outside with some tiles on top so it's very simple and then to, I connected these guys on with just a stud and I tried to give them poses that kind of looked like they're actually into their music and playing that and I built all their flutes as realistic to the actual you know prop movie props they had with color and design and all that and I think they look pretty good of course they wouldn't be playing with Max Rebo because they were rivaling bands at the time but I think it kind of needs a little bit more than just Max Rebo's piano, and I think they look pretty good up there. And it's Lego, so who really cares? Now for Max Rebo's piano, and this thing might not look like a lot, but it is extremely complex and took me three days to build. Um, and that's not including having to wait for Bricklink orders to come in um, for a couple weeks. I spent a good four hours researching Max Rebo's piano, Lego versions. There are like maybe 10, 15, and none of them are that good or that realistic, and I didn't like any of them, so I was, you know, I decided to build my own, and I started building it, and I think I realized why there are so few of this piano, because it is difficult to build something this small, this compact, and this detailed, so I did my best, and honestly, I think it turned out pretty good, so... I'm going to take Max Rebo out and kind of just show you how I built it. I'm not going to give you complete instructions because it, it's kind of complex. And if I did take it apart, I don't know if I'd be able to remember how to put it back together. But Max Rebo has to unfortunately sit in here without his legs because there's so little room in this thing. And what room there is, I completely took up with pieces. So he's kind of cut in half and just chilling in there but when he was in there in the movie it kind of wrapped around him and you couldn't even tell that he had legs or does he is our are his legs arms are his arms legs does he have arms and legs regardless of that i'm here to show you the piano it's just connected by a jumper and i added that grill just to fill in the space a little bit better but here is this and i think this thing costs like 20 bucks to make I don't know if that's because I bought a lot of pieces I didn't need, but um, yeah, it was it, it was a lot. Um, but as you can see, it, it's pretty accurate. It's not perfect. It, it'll never be perfect because it's Lego, but it's pretty accurate. I did, if, if I do build this or work on it anymore, I would put um, two of these. I would put two more of these one by two slopes on the back and just close it off completely. But I spent the amount I spent on it and I didn't feel like buying any more parts and waiting for those. So... We have his little speaker, I believe, here. As you can see, it's a nice little dish. It's not that complex. And then I don't know if this is some sort of control or control board or whatever, but we have that there. And it was kind of an oval shape, so I kind of tried to just taper in the bottom a little bit. Um, and on the top, I was able to use a windscreen piece in dark pearl gray to kind of show it sloping inwards. And I think it turned out and looks pretty good. But by far the hardest part was trying to figure out how to make these nice gold studs line all the way around the thing. Because I knew I wanted to do that. It would have looked accurate. And so I knew I wanted to do that, but it took forever to figure out. And what I came up with, I think is quite uh, interesting. And we'll get to that in just a minute. I just kind of want to show you where he's sitting. Uh, it's kind of cut two of these quarter tiles behind it just to round that off. And the whole arms, the droid arms I used for the piano actual keys, I tried using droid heads because those are the perfect shape, but they're too big for many figure scale and they did not fit in this at all. So this whole assembly of the front shield, the arms for the piano keys and the circles are all kind of, and the studs on the front are all kind of interconnected. So to show you that, taking off this windscreen, as you can see, it's a little bit hollow. 
Along the back, I just added these two one by one bricks with studs on the sides with a hole in them. And I got a tube, one of the 20 long hoses, and I cut it because in Lego instructions, they have had you cut it with scissors before. So I, I didn't feel like I was sort of, you know, illegally building it because they do let you in the instructions. And I kinked the ends on both sides and stuck them into those stud holes. And I tried to make a perfect circle and add these one by one clips with the studs on the ends uh, to add these keys. And I think it turned out pretty perfect. Now, that was done and I knew I wanted to keep that design because it was the best thing I'd come up with and I couldn't come up with anything better. However, my next dilemma was I didn't know how to connect this up here at all. So what I ended up using was a minifigure neck bracket and I attached that to a one by one with studs on all sides and then attached these bar, um, stud bar pieces with the droid arms on top for the keys. And as you can see, you can kind of just tell how I built everything else. And I attached this bracket to the stud, to one of the studs on, on this one by one. And once you kind of just move the keys into the correct position, you can add that. There is a nice little bit of light gray that I don't really like um, peeking out, but other than that, it's pretty much perfect, and I guarantee you I couldn't do any better. Once he sits on there, you kind of just lose all the gapping that you could see here, and it just looks good. He looks like he's actually sitting in there playing. I think it just looks pretty realistic. That's my very complex Max Rebo's piano, and fifth musician sort of mock, and with the Jabba's Palace diorama, I mean, this will be a wonderful addition if they kind of match in the same style, and if not, I can always take Max's piano and put it over in some corner, or, you know, build some extension to that diorama, depending on how it looks, so that Jabba can enjoy some music. So um, that's my mock. If you do attempt to build this, I probably have most of these pieces in my Brickling store. If you do want to check that out, it's in the description. I have very good prices. I have some of the best prices on shipping out of anyone on Bricklink. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, you could subscribe and like the video. That would help me out quite a bit. And thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.